Hey everybody, Chris here from Protocase with another Proto Tech Tip. And today, we're going to give Protocase Designer some more love by showing you how to quickly and easily make vent slot cutouts in Protocase Designer. So Protocase Designer is going to save you a ton of time in your design process because you're not going to have to start with a custom enclosure, panel, or bracket design from scratch. By starting from one of our many templates, then customizing the template with all of the cutouts, fasteners, graphics, and everything else you need, you're going to be much farther ahead in the game. So, when it comes to creating custom electronic enclosures, ventilation is a crucial part of the design. Venting cutouts are crucial for ensuring that your enclosure's inner components don't overheat, and Protocase Designer's library features many different cutouts for ventilation, including fans from 40 millimeters to 120 millimeters. But what if you want to have long rows of ventilation throughout your case design? Well, this is where vents lock cutouts come in handy. So, bringing you inside the software, I already have a console at design here that I've made a little bit of progress on. And as you can see, I've already added cutouts for a Raspberry Pi and a power connector, as well as a large opening for an acrylic panel. And I've also placed some graphics as well on top. So, let me show you how to create vents lock cutouts in a linear pattern so they go all along the side of your enclosure. So, I'm going to click on Edit Face and then select the side of the consulette. So now that I'm in the face editor, I'm going to create my initial cutout shape, which in this case, for this example, is going to be a rectangle. Now because I want my vent cutouts to be placed on a diagonal, I'm going to change the rotation of the cutout to negative 20 degrees. Okay, so now that I got my initial cutout created in the size and angle that I want, to create a line of these cutouts, I could go the long route and do a manual copy and paste with the Control c Control v and then use the Align and Distribute tools to make sure that they're placed properly. But I like saving as much time as possible, so I'm going to use the Array tool here. The Array tool allows you to create a linked group of the same object in a pattern, and you can make linear patterns, rectangular patterns, and circular patterns. Because I want my vent cutouts to run along the side of my consulate, I'm going to create a linear pattern. So I've got my event slot selected. Now I'm going to click Array. Then I'm going to select Linear. Here I need to set a few different parameters. So there's Angle, which is the angle from the x-axis to create the array. Spacing, which is the distance between objects in the array. And Quantity, which is the number of objects that are in the array. Because I want my event slots to run in a straight line, I'm going to make the angle 0. And for the spacing, I'm going to choose 0 0.5. And for quantity, I've estimated that I need 20 in total, so I'm going to make the quantity 20. Once I click OK, Protocase Designer creates my line of cutouts. So, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out, but what if I did want to change the spacing or the number of event slots? I can do this by using the parameters on the right-hand side. And if I really want to save myself some time, which, I mean, who doesn't, I can save this array, which is already a grouped object, as a grouped cutout in my personal library. Now, I already have this done, but if I wanted to do the other side of my consulate, I could just simply go to the personal library and place this group of cutouts with just one click. So there you have it. My consulate now has the ventilation cutouts that I was envisioning. And as I hit order inside the software, it will go through our manufacturing facility, and you can see the final product here with the diagonal ventilation cutouts, just as I designed it. So you've got a lot of things to tackle in order to get your projects and prototypes completed on time. So the last thing you need is to waste valuable time trying to create these enclosures from scratch, or rely on a mechanical engineer to create what you need. By using Protocase Designer, you're going to be able to design what you need quickly and easily, and then focus on the stuff that really matters most for your project. All right, so stay tuned for more Proto Tech Tips on Protocase Designer and how it can save you time on your next design project. And if you haven't already, we suggest you try Protocase Designer for yourself and just see what kind of a time saver it actually can be. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below or email us at info at So thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you again next week.